welcome to the very first edition of the Sports Today podcast, the podcast where we talk about all things sports happening today. And today we are doing a very special Sports Today podcast. It is our Super Bowl 52 preview show. Of course, this game is between the battle of two number one seeds, the the Philadelphia Eagles and the New England Patriots, the two teams that have dominated their respective leagues this year. Of course, the Eagles, Carson Wentz leading them until they got hurt back in week 14. And, of course, for the Patriots, it's been Tom Brady and Danny Amendola leading them this year. Tom Brady will be making his eighth Super Bowl appearance, if I'm not wrong. Nick Foles, of course, has never played in a Super Bowl. And the Eagles, on their 53-man roster, have only had seven Super Bowl appearances combined versus Brady has played in seven Super Bowls. He's lost two of them, and those two were against the Giants in both games. However, the Patriots have had a different type of season this year. It's been more controlled by the run game and passing it to Danny Amendola. Gronk's been decent this year. He hasn't been okay. Of course, last week in the AFC Championship game, or two weeks ago, excuse me, he got hurt. He's clearly the concussion protocol. He will be playing on Sunday night in the big game against the Eagles. But so... It's been this postseason, the Patriots have had a more dominant offense compared to the Eagles, led, of course, by Tom Brady and Dami Amendola. Amendola is going to be a key player in the success of the Patriots, partially reason why, because he's been able to get open in big situations. He's able to find a way through the secondary to catch that open pass that the Patriots need to win the game. The Patriots are averaging about 29.5 points per game this postseason versus the Eagles having only averaging 26 and a half this postseason. Another thing is the defense. Defense has been key. However, the Eagles defense is a much stronger force to be reckoned with than the Patriots. Eagles, of course, playing both their games at home, but both teams were. Eagles scored well, scored 26.5 points per game in the postseason, and they only allowed eight and a half points per game to the, to the Falcons in the NFC Divisional Round and in the NFC Championship game to the Vikings. Of course, of course, the Eagles, they had a couple of big interceptions in the AFC Championship game, uh, NFC Championship game, excuse me. One of them was a pick six early on in the game, which changed the entirety of that NFC Championship game. And also, their run game and pass game have been woken up by Nick Foles, which no one thought when Carson Wentz got hurt that Nick Foles would step up and somehow create and regenerate this offense and basically revive this offense Vince, I mean, they've had about 292 pass yards per game and 103 rush yards per game, and they've converted on third down 59% of the time. So I think personally that the Patriots are going to need to be able to stop Nick Foles' passing game. He likes to rely on his arm to help win the game for the Eagles, which he's done the past two games, and it's worked. But the Patriots are a different type of team. The Patriots have not seen the Eagles or excuse me, the Eagles have never seen the Patriots really before. And so the key to this game is going to be, can the Eagles stop Nick Foles and the passing game for the Eagles? And, of course, every time someone thinks about the Eagles' offense, they think of Nick Foles and Zach Ertz. Ertz is going to need to find a way to get open against this very tough Patriots defense who have allowed 17 points per game, of course, against the Titans and Jaguars, but still two very good teams. Key for the Patriots, it's got to be get Danny Amendola the ball on third down. You you have a 48% third down conversion percentage this postseason, and it's got to be when you're on third down and long, you've got to find a way to get Danny, Danny Amendola the ball. He's been just lights out this entire postseason, and we'll see if he can make a difference. Welcome to the defensive side of the show now. As we look at both teams' defenses, as mentioned earlier, the Eagles have allowed 8.5 points per game to their opponents. That's partially because Brandon Cook leads the team with 9.5 sacks, sacks, and defensive ends Chris Long and Derek Bar- Barnett have each had five sacks apiece. And so what does that do is the sacks, if you get sacks early in the game, 
you know that you are able to get pressure on the quarterback. And that's a key, another key for a victory for the Eagles, get pressure on Brady early. If you can get pressure on Brady early and sack him a couple of times, maybe you get in his head or maybe you get in the Patriots offensive line's head and maybe you cause a change in reaction. Maybe Brady overthrows a pass or maybe he throws an interception or fumbles the ball. You never know, but you gotta get in his head early. But now as you look at the Patriots, there haven't been a whole lot going. They've only allowed about 17 points per game but they, the defense hasn't really done any major things. Adam Butler leads the team with two sacks. There hasn't been a whole lot, so I would give the defensive end to the Eagles. However, the Patriots have been able to stop teams when they needed to. And what that does is on those crucial third downs late in the game, they've been able to stop them. Doesn't mean they get a sack or a big interception. They just stop them. They stop they're able to stop the run game. They're able to stop the pass game, which is another key for a victory for both teams. you got to be able to stop both sides of the ball. That's how you got here in the first place. So I personally wouldn't change anything if you're either team. My personal opinion, I got Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, and the New England Patriots. Even though I'll be gladly wrong if the Patriots win, win or lose, I'll be gladly wrong if the Eagles knock off Tom Brady and the Patriots. But I personally think that Brady's just going to be too much. Brady has way too much experience in this game. He knows how to handle the crucial situations, obviously down 28-3. to So we'll see. I have the Patriots winning 24-10 to over the Eagles. So thank you for watching the Sports Today podcast. I'm Kevin Malater. For everyone here, we'd like to thank you for watching. And see you next time.